In this video, we will start with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 190 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals mx plus c to success. Trigonometric equations. A trigonometric equation is an equation containing a trigonometric function, one or more of the six ratios, the sine, the cosine, the tangent, the cotangent, the second, and the cosecant, and an unknown angle. So it's just that I was writing this short. Usually we don't say the whole word. We just say sin, cos, tan, cot, sec, cosec. Okay. Solving trigonometric equations means finding the possible values of the own unknown angle. The basic strategy for solving a trigonometric equation is to make use of of most of the knowledge from the previous sections. You, you use graphs, you use the diagrams, the identities, and algebraic techniques. Let's look at an example. We did this also a little bit in ordinary level, but not so deep. Um, I'm going to try to make it a bit bigger. Okay, let's look at the example. Find theta if, I want to get another thing, uh, if theta is bigger than equal to 0 and smaller than equal to 360, and sin theta is negative 0 0.5. Okay, so there's the unknown angle, there is the ratio, and it's negative. Okay, so we can solve this equation using two different methods. Work through each method. It will help you understand the work better. So method one, finding the solution from a trigonometric graph. If you recall the graph of sin theta, remember it starts at zero and it makes one, one wave, can you say, for the period 360 degrees. Okay, and then it will start repeating itself. Okay, so the, if you recall the graph of sin theta from zero to 360, you will remember that there are actually two values of theta in this range for which sin theta is negative. So you draw a line at negative 0 0.5 and I'm just going to make it a bit that you see it better. The book, you will be able to see. There is the line. There's negative 0. So it cuts the graph how many times? Two times. Do you see? So I draw the arrow up and I read and I up and I read it down. Okay. So on the graph you will find a dotted horizontal line indicate where sin theta is negative 0 0.5. From the points where this line intersect the sin graph, draw the vertical lines, the blue lines, to intersect the x-axis and read off the two solutions to the trig equation. So theta will be 210, theta will be 330 degrees. Okay, now the two solutions are in quadrant 3 and 4. Remember, that's quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. You can also see it from your cost diagram. Where is sin? Sin is positive there. There was the positive, but sin is negative in this quadrant. Okay, but now, especially in this chapter, we focus more on method two. But it's good that you understand that you are connecting the mathematics. Because if you are able to connect different parts, and then you will be able to see the whole picture and then they will not catch you out with, um, with tricky questions. Okay, finding the solution using this, the signs of the quadrants. Okay, so this. So this, the sine function is negative. Um, therefore, the theta values are in quadrants 3 and 4. Work out the basic angle using your calculator. Do not use the negative sign in the calculator. Just press shift sin not negative just 0 0.5 shift sin 0 0.5 you press shift because you tell your calculator uh, or second function to tell your calculator to go to to the angles okay so sh second function shift or sin 0 0.5 equals and you get 30 degrees and that is the angle to the x-axis that's the basic angle uh, beta can you remember we did it in previous videos so from the diagram, I now find, so now it's 180 plus 30 and 360 minus 30 if it's in that quadrant. Okay, note, we will focus on method 2 in this section 
because accurate answers cannot be read off the graph. So it's more accurate if we do it on this method. Okay, you can just do method two in this. Um, the method one was just to bring a little bit of connection and to understand the work a little bit better. Okay. So let's give you one of each. So let's start. Okay, A is a nice one. And then we can maybe do also, so that's a part. So then we can do, and uh, we did a negative sin one. Uh, so we can maybe do a positive sin one. Positive sin one. And then we can do a negative tan one. There is a negative tan one. Okay. You can just do that free. As soon as you are finished, uh, stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Okay, let's start. Let's make it smaller. See better again. Moving it. There. Okay. Let's start with number A. Cos theta, it's a half. So if I'm, if it's always, always, always start my making, especially, <laughs> I don't like a ruler, make your cos diagram. Okay. Especially in the beginning, uh, when you're not familiar with all the things. And don't forget your cost. And say to yourself, where is cos positive? Cos is positive there, and cos is positive there. Now, I, I like to always write the basic angle. Let's call it like this. We'll write it here. So press on your calculator, second function, or shift, cos 0 0.5. And what is your calculating tell, telling you? It's 60 degrees. That is the angle, 60 degrees. And now, now I will find theta. And I will say, okay, it's quadrant 1, so it's just 60. And in quadrant 2, it is 360 minus 60, and that's 300 degrees. Okay. And that is my final answer. And then number D. Sin. Oh, let's just get the pen correct. Sin theta is 0 0.6. Okay, again I make my sketch. I, I remember my cost. Now, where is sin positive? Sin is positive in quadrant 1 and always to the x-axis. The basic angle and quadrant two. Now I press on my calculator, I press shift sin 0.6, and I get my basic angle, basic angle, and make it always okay. That basic or right basic angle, it's all right. Okay, make it always, because your answer must be to one decimal place. So make the basic angle to two decimal places. Then your one place will be correct. So the basic angle is then 36.87 degrees. Okay, so that is the 36.87, 36.87. Don't forget, this is your first answer. This is your second answer. So to get theta, it's that... 36, but now you make one decimal place, 0 0.9 degrees. And to get your other angle, or, uh, and now it's 180 minus that 36.87 degrees. And the final answer is 143.1 degrees. Okay, that's number A and D. I'm going to make space. For number I, and this is actually very nice. But number I, it's like algebra. It's the rules. Actually, all maps have rules. Okay, here's the negative. Okay, so again, I make my sketch. 
I tell him you don't do that, but for now it's always good to just get used to the methods. Right. Now, where is tan negative? Tan is positive there. So tan will be negative. Tan will be negative it be here to the x-axis and here to the x-axis. Okay. So first let's get that basic angle. Okay. Now what is my basic angle? Again, shift tan, don't press that negative in. I repeat, shift tan 3.481. I did not press the negative in. Okay. So shift tan 3.481. The negative just tell you in what quadrants. Okay, otherwise you will only get one answer. So then I get 73.97 okay, degrees. Now, to get theta, it's 180 minus that 73.97. And that answer will be 106.0. One decimal place, so you must write that zero. The other one is 360 minus that of 73.97 and that if you press that it will be 286.0 degrees and there is your two answers that's how you do it